Hey, this is Pastor Sanjay, and welcome to day 10 of the 21 Days of Hunger. The passages that we are going to be highlighting today are Genesis chapters 35, Psalms chapter 17, and 1 John 3. I want to ask you a question. Do you know that you serve a God that you can call on? Throughout every season and every moment of life, you serve a God who is beyond your expectation and your ability to sometimes even comprehend. You serve a God who is faithful. You serve a God whose name is Jesus. So let's get into Genesis 35. We see how Jacob is renamed to Israel. We see how there is this command by God to, to, to Jacob to say, hey, go to Bethel. And, and in Genesis uh, chapters 35, verse 3, it says, Then let us arise and go up to Bethel, so that I may make there an altar to the God who answers me in the day of my distress and has been with me wherever I have gone. No matter where Jacob went, God was there with him. And as followers of Jesus, the promise sticks true now. Wherever you go in your life, regardless of if there's distress or if there's happy, joyful moments of life, you serve a God who you can call on throughout every season, moment, circumstance, and place of life. Wherever the Lord takes you, He will be there with you. And that is the promise for the believer. We even see how in Psalm 17, how, how the psalmist says in verse 6, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Make your petitions and requests known to your God because he loves you, he hears you, and he cares for you. And there is nothing that you feel that, that you may say that might be too insignificant for your God. You serve a faithful God. But as you come to him, he's not some genie, as you know that, as a follower of Jesus, he's not some genie that you come to and you get every single request. But out of reverence and love and a desire to pursue him, you make your requests known to your God and trust him that despite, if not everything you say comes, that everything you request comes to pass, it's okay. Because in His timing, in His will, the things that God wants to come to pass will come to pass. And as the follower of Jesus, you are called to trust that. You are called to trust in what He is saying. We even read in, in 1 John um, chapter 3, uh, verse 10, that, that we, need to, we need to understand that we are the children of God. And we know how to love people, we know how to love ourselves, we know how to basically do the things that we're doing because we are followers of Jesus. And as you continue to walk through these moments, as you continue to, to, to go and fast, continue to remember that you can make your requests known to God. And as you do that, continue to walk out in this life, practicing the teachings of Jesus, following Him, serving Him, and faithfully loving those around us. And it even says in verse 16, you ought to lay your lives down for your brothers and sisters because you know how Christ has loved you. So continue to make your petitions known to God and continue to walk in the faith. Continue to stay strong and love those around you faithfully. I pray that God blesses you richly. And I want to ask you a question before we're done. So how does a recognition that we can come boldly before God increase our hunger? Let's pray. Jesus, I pray for my brothers and sisters. I pray that you would bless them, protect them, guard their minds, guard their hearts. Father, I pray that they would grow in a desire to seek you more, Father God grow in their love for you, grow in their understanding of who you are as they continue this fast, Father. May you bless them, may you protect them, may you keep them safe, Father God. I pray a blessing over their households, over their finances, over their minds, over their bodies, Father God. I pray, Jesus, that they would say, I'm going to seek you first, Jesus, above all else. I pray that that would be their prayer and their desire. Father, may you bless them, protect them, and keep them safe. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you.